Hello everyone. Right in this video, just would like to share to you guys about the basic difference between SEM and pattern analysis. So, what is the difference between the two? Let's find out. Right. So, I prepared this slide for you here. Basically, if we talk about the pattern analysis, it is considered a part of SEM and it's a series of regressions applied sequentially to data or some people say that this is multiple multiple regressions okay so this is the extensions of multiple regression model okay in the regression model we just only see the the direct effect between each independent variable to dependent variable but in pattern analysis you can see the mediating variables indirect effect from independent to dependent variables. So in pattern analysis, you can see the mediating and moderating variables. And what is the definitions of SEM? Well, in SEM, it's a combination between CFA, confirmatory factor analysis, and pattern analysis, right? It consists of measurement model and structure models. So if you just only use measurement model, then we call it only CFA. But if you just only use a path model, so we call path analysis. Okay? But if you use the combination of the two, so we call it structure regression model. So that's the difference between the two. Right? Another one, path analysis has no latent variables. Please underline that. Path analysis, no latent variables. Instead, it contains only observed variables, right? Pattern analysis assumes that all variables are measured without errors. So it means the instrument to measure the variables is valid already. So you don't need to test the construct. It has been validated, right? With a good construct validity. So you don't need to do the construct validity again. But in SEM, use latent variables to account for measurement error. So in the research, you believe that there is a variable that the instrument need to be revalidated because you reduce items or maybe you add items or maybe uh, that you add some dimensions, some components, so you need to test the, the construct using factor analysis, especially for CFA. Therefore, you need to do the measurement model first, followed by structure model or pattern model, right? But in pattern analysis, you don't need to do validity tests again, right? So that's the difference between the two. All right, so the next slide is the difference between measure variables and latent variables. Measure variables, some people also call it as observed variables or manifest variables. It is a variable that can be observed directly and is measurable. But latent variable is a variable that cannot be observed directly and must be inferred from measured variables. Right? So known as a factor analysis, construct dimension, components, indicators, or unobserved variables. So latent variables is like a concept with so many dimensions. Right? So in order to measure the latent variable, you need to measure the dimension first or the measured variable first in order to measure the latent variables right so the last one here is a full image of the SEM so there are three squares that I prepared the first square you can see from the independent variables doctors operators tangible and tangible, tangible aspects waiting rooms tangible aspect and efficient room these are independent variables latent variables and then on the left, like completeness, medical information available of doctors, doctor's ability is the measured variables of doctors, the indicators of doctors, and another one is indicators of another latent variable. So this is a measurement model from the independent variables. And another square, the red one, surface quality is latent variable, and the Indicators is the service, medical nursing staff, front office operators is indicators of the service quality. So this is another measurement model 
from dependent variables, right? So here, two measurement models from independent variables and dependent variables. And the square, the yellow color, this is the path model. So there is a direct effect from doctors, operators, tangential aspects, waiting room, tangential aspect, and service quality. So independent variables have direct effect to surface quality, right? So this is the path model. It's just only using regression models here, but actually in the path model, it usually has like mediating variables, moderating variables. So it's more complicated than this, but I just choose only the simple one here to understand more. So SEM has two models, measurement models and structure models or path model, right? Well, the next question is, can we use categorical variables in path analysis or ACM? Well, the answer for that is, it depends, right? Because basically, in the ACM, we just only use Latin variables. So if it is only gender, for example, categorical variable, male and females, so it will be treated differently. But some researcher, they just only exclude categorical variables so they just only include all continuous variable in SEM or path analysis but some researcher they try to combine between a categorical variable and continuous variables and they use data they use uh, m plus they use smart pls well the outcome you need to have the good fit model that's the main point if you just combine all of them categorical and continuous variable but you have four model then for what right so basically you need to see the assumptions so you don't need to violate assumption just to only include all variables that you think is important you need to see the assumption first all right so that's the only basic difference between path analysis and a structure action model hope it helps and thank you for watching guys